Thank you, absolutely. I want to thank every Democrat in this room for being here today, for your time and commitment to fighting for our DFL ideals. I'm Jim Mefford, a husband and a father of three great kids. We have two today, one's going to be here tomorrow. He's my chief campaign advisor. I hope you all get a chance to meet him. He's fantastic, Alex. And I'm the pr proud to be your DFL endorsed candidate who's going to beat Eric Paulson this fall. Make no mistake, the third district is our turf. It's DFL ground. The DFL, it's our house. And we're about to give Eric Paulson an eviction notice. We've elected DFL legislators all across the district. Representative Benson and Rosenthal and Rood and Dietrich and Portman and Hillstrom and Nelson and Lincheski and Senator Scheid and Foley and Dahl and Bonoff. Senator Klobuchar won our district by 13 points. President Obama carried our district by eight points. It's DFL territory. We have enough people in the district to win this race. We are also going to keep control of the legislature in our district by electing good people to the legislature, by, like Ron Case and Kevin Staunton and Katie Rodriguez and Steve Elkins and Kim King and David Hoden and Audrey Britton and on and on. We have fantastic candidates. We're also going to elect the next governor in the third congressional district, the next Democratic governor. It's the true battleground. It's a place that we will carry to elect the person you endorse tomorrow. Eric Paulson is already helping us in this race. Yes, he is. He sent out fancy campaign mailings at, our, at your expense. He's number two on the list in franking. He talks about fiscal responsibility, but he doesn't live it in his office. He voted against protecting our homes and retirement accounts. He's voted against fixing our health care system and helping student loans go to college. He's voted against protecting our environment. He's voted against ensuring equal pay for our mothers and sisters and daughters. He would rather protect Wall Street bankers and insurance companies than fight for our families and communities. He thinks forcing division will help him win in November. Eric Paulson stands next to Sarah Palin, holds up his pocket constitution, but he ignores the first line that says, we the people. He votes like it says, I the person. He, like each of us, is on our own. But we're going to win this election by standing up for what we, we believe in, by believing in we the people, by standing in the face of fear and division and bringing back hope. We're going to win by standing up for our neighbors, by giving voice to those who are overlooked, by building bridges instead of walls, by empowering the diverse communities in our district and across this state, by searching for that common good that is in each of us. We're here because we believe that responsibility in helping each of our neighbors, the neighbors across the street, across the state, and across the globe. Together we can give the 180,000 Minnesota children who live in poverty hope and a strong future. We can bring hope to those thousands who have lost their homes and lost their jobs. Together we can lift all people up. But this election isn't just about us. As the late senator reminded us, Politics is not about big money. It's not about power games. It's about truly working together to improve people's lives. Winning this election will mean breaking down those walls that divide us and empowering all communities to make sure every voice is heard. It's about good paying jobs from responsible companies. It's about helping families stay in their homes. It's about lifting up strong public schools and not tearing them down. It's about helping people live their lives and not telling them how they should look or who they should marry or what they should not do. It's not about following someone, but pushing each other that will win this election. Dan and Terrell and I need you to push us every day. We need to stand on your shoulders. That every day of this campaign and every day that we serve you in Congress, we need to fight for each other. Together we will fight for our children. Together we will fight for our strong communities. And together we will fight for each other. I'm asking every Democrat in this room to finish what we've started and help us win in the third district and help us elect a new governor and help us maintain control of the legislature. I'm Jim Mefford and thank you very much and may God bless each of you. Thank you.